Hey guys, it's Ozzy here, and I've got more stuff from Flaxbeard's Steam Power mod. Um, I've done a little bit of rework around here. Um, I've rearranged the steam heaters, chucked a hopper on the, the oven, so just got it set up so you would probably want to have it something similar set up. Um, I'm using the extra utility pipes to automatically pull items out um, of the mould. Uh, unfortunately, you still need to open it every single time. So hopefully that gets uh, changed, so it can automatically uh, do this whole process, but in the meantime, you still have to open and close. Um, but let's get on to it. First thing we're going to look at is gauging how much uh, steam we actually have in our pipe so, the, so we don't blow stuff up. Um, first thing you're going to need is a compass and four brass plates, not brass plates, uh, nuggets I mean. And just chuck the compass in the middle and the nuggets on the outside, and you get a steam gauge. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to just chuck the steam gauge here. Um, as you can see, the left side here is practically empty because it is empty. Um, above it, I've got a valve pipe, so it's just a, a lever combined with a pipe, and you can just right click on, right click off, and this will tell us uh, how much we've got in the well, essentially the system right now. So the gas, the steam that's in here, all the way down to um, where I place the boiler downstairs. Okay, so the next thing we're going to look at is the uh, rupture plate. So it's four brass nuggets again, except you need a zinc plate. Zinc plate in the center, brass nuggets on the outside, as such. And you get a rupture plate. I'm pretty sure I showed you this last episode, but um, it's good to know this one. I'm just going to chuck it there. Um, so the idea for this system is um, when this gets all the way onto the uh, right side, so basically the opposite pointing direction where it is now, that that will know that it's at full capacity and it's you know at risk at um, exploding. So if you happen to see this get a little bit too close, you can flick the the valve to let steam out and watch it go back down, and then uh, turn it back on just so you don't explode stuff. But if you happen to not notice this happening, um, the rupture plate should explode and the steam should um, come out there. And then you can just replace the rupture plate later. And uh, yeah, so it's, it should avoid you from having steam heaters or the boiler explode. Um, and on that note, let's go check out where I've chucked the, the boiler. Go down here. Um, you've noticed I've actually got a Billcraft tank and a wooden pipe and a autarkic gate um, the Billcroft pipe gates uh, have changed so you have to check those out Billcroft pipes are, um, are compatible with the uh, boilers and so forth as you can see it did pump water into it so let's just chuck some more water in there just for the time being okay so now that we've got water in there and it's creating steam um, let's get on to the next thing which is our Archimedes, um, oh, I forgot what they're called again, Archimedes, Archimedes, no, it's this way, the Archimedes screws, yes, that's it, um, they're fairly simple to make, you're going to need uh, some glass panes, some brass plates, and some brass nuggets, so just chuck the uh, panes in like a, a triangle shape, upside down, or, or V shape, um, and then put the brass plates down the middle and then put the nuggets in the reverse shape of the panes and you get these Archimedes screws which are pretty nifty, they spin and so what they do is they essentially um, pump water from one side um, into a, a tank or whatever you have or the boiler on the opposite side and they I'll just, I'll just place another to show you how they go. So you just chuck them down like that. And as you can see, the, they pump from the, the lower end and the higher end is where the water goes, which would be the boiler. And of course, um, they are steam powered. So as you can see, we've already got steam going into it. It did spin, but obviously we're full, so they've stopped spinning. Okay, we've got another one here, but we're gonna, actually I've got a so never mind. We're gonna use that for later anyway. Okay, so what's next? Oh, I've got the sniffles. 
We're going to make some steam tanks. Pretty, pretty easy. You can make these out of uh, brass ingots if you want to, but of course, um, there is a, uh, a cost saving when making um, brass plates. You get more than you get for the ingots. So, yeah. We're just going to break this, glue some steam. Um, they essentially just uh, store steam. Um, it's a little bit hard to tell how much they store because you can't right click on them and there's no tools for determining how much is in there. I suppose you could use the steam. Oh, actually, that's a good idea. I didn't think of that. Uh, there's not enough steam in there to even to figure out whether or not, but anyway. These are steam tanks. They uh, output from any side and they do actually work like um, multi-block structures. So you could do that. Um, I'm not sure if they are multi-block structure, but they sort of uh, they, they act in a way in a sense that one will fill the other one up and they evenly distribute the steam between them. So now that we've got that, what's next on the list? Uh, okay, the next one is actually making a... Uh, Ah, uh, my head is not working today. It's a flash boiler. So it's just a, a multi-block structure um, designed to, essentially it's a replacement for the boiler. It's a two by two by block. Um, so you're gonna need uh, at least four of them. Um, what did I do that? I totally forgot the recipe. Uh, actually brass plate, brass plate, brass plate, brass plate. These should be at the bottom. Boiler in the center, tank at the top, and what were the other thing? The pipes, yes, on the side. And you get so each recipe gives you two, so you only need to do it twice. So you get the boilers like that. Let's go downstairs and chuck them where they should be down the basement. Okay, so this is uh, where do we want to put this? Hmm. Let's just chuck it all the way. Ooh, actually. Let's just chuck it here. And then once you put the last one in there, it uh, snaps together. As you can see, it's just like a boiler. And it works just like a boiler. Let's just get rid of this, um, this old boiler. Uh, and let's run the pipes back over to... Oops. Actually, just, let's do it from there. With these things, the steam can be outputted on the sides as well, unlike the boilers which have to come at the top. Um, we can get rid of this stuff now, and we can just run Billcraft pipes all along to the side, so it should start pumping water into it once we get some steam. Let's just chuck some coal in there. Um, these things do take a little bit longer to uh, heat up, so at the moment they're actually sort of inefficient. Uh, while starting up, they're sort of like the uh, Railcraft's um, steam boilers. So at the early point, they're actually quite inefficient at making steam. But once they get going, they do produce a lot of steam quite fast. So let's just um, add some water to it. Yep. Hasn't even produced enough steam to uh, start filling this up again. Mm. Hurry up, boiler, quickly. So it is actually turning this, but it's not providing enough to give us enough water, but it is bringing in just a tiny, tiny bit. And it's enough steam. Or am I correct? Does the steam need to come out the top? We'll find out. Um, no, I'm correct. The steam can come out the side as well. Doesn't matter. I think this is just full. Yeah. So there we go, now we've got uh, more steam. Uh, I mean, more steam power. Oh, look at this. No, I haven't got to cover this, I'll fix that later. So now that we've got more power, as you can see, these are actually now filling up. And because it's a, uh, there's nothing like a, a lever, a valve pipe stopping them, you can see that they sort of equal the same. And yeah. So the, basically the steam is, uh, uh, yeah, it goes across the whole system, so essentially it can explode at any point. 
Yeah, so that's why we've got the solar system. Yeah. Um, that's about it for today, guys. Episode. Um, next episode is probably going to be the steam tools and the um, steam filler and maybe the item mortar, which I found something quite interesting. But but you'll have to wait until that episode. And ne until next time, guys. Ready, aim, fire. Yeah.